Hi everyone, I hope you're doing good. So today we're gonna to do some reading and we're gonna talk about asking and answering questions about a text. So what does this mean? I'm gonna show you. I have a book here called Waiting and if you have been in my second or third grade classes, you know that this is my favorite author. Kevin Hankis is my favorite author. And just by looking at this cover, I can see that it's won two awards, wow. One award is the Caldecott Honor, which means that the illustrations are award winning. And the next is the Theodore Seuss Jesel Honor Book, which means that it's a Dr. Seuss Honor winner. Now when I'm looking at the cover, I can already start asking and answering questions. I see that it's called Waiting. And I see that the clouds have some pictures. Wow, that one kind of looks like an umbrella. That one kind of looks like a bunny rabbit. Actually, it looks like this bunny rabbit. Wait a minute. Here's an owl and there's an owl. I wonder what this book is gonna be about. So I'm already asking and answering questions. There were five of them and they were waiting. I wonder what they're waiting for. The owl with spots was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. The puppy on the sled was waiting for the snow. The rabbit with stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. So everyone knows what they're waiting for except the rabbit. I wonder if that's gonna change. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came down, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. And when the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew high and far. When it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He waited a very long time. The rabbit was happy just looking out the window. And sometimes one or, uh, one or the other of them went away but he or she always came back. Sometimes they slept, but mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared. I'm gonna stop here for a second. So asking and answering questions about a text means that while I'm reading, I'm stopping to think. I'm not just going through the book and not thinking about what I'm reading about. The beautiful part of reading is stopping to think. So on this page it says sometimes gifts appear. The question I'm thinking or asking in my head is who's leaving the gifts? How are they appearing? Let's see. Once a visitor arrived from far away, he stayed for a while. It looks like the visitor is an elephant. Then he left and never returned. Oh, it looks like he broke. That's kind of sad. They saw many wonderful, interesting things. Hey, this picture looks like the cover. They can see themselves in the clouds. I see a rainbow. I see lightning. And here they look like they think that it's beautiful. And here they look a little scared. Even though it doesn't say anything on this page, the fact that I see lightning in the sky and they look scared to me makes me think that there might be a huge thunderstorm going on too and that the sound of the thunder scares them. Here I see snow and look, there's icicles up at the top. And here, these look like fireworks to me. So maybe that means that it's the 4th of July. And of course, there was always the moon, the rain, the wind, and the snow to keep them happy. And in each of these pictures here, I can see the rain and the wind and the snow. One day, a cat with patches joined them. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. 
Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. Oh, but she was. And it looks like this cat is one of those toys that has a smaller cat and a smaller cat and a smaller cat and a smaller cat inside of it. Now there were 10 of them and they were happy together. Waiting to see what would happen next. Okay, I love this book, Waiting, and I hope that you guys really got to see what asking and answering questions about the text is all about. Now I'd like you to read a book and practice asking and answering questions about the text while you're doing it. Stop. Think about what you see and talk about it. And it's okay to talk about it out loud like I was doing. You can flip to a page if there is one that has no words and just analyze the illustrations and the images and think about what you're seeing. Okay, I hope you had a great time reading Waiting today and I will see you soon. Goodbye.